Hi everyone, this is Dee. I wanted to share with you these little uh, snippets um, that go on the edge of a page. I was inspired by Gail Augustinelli. Um, when I saw her making these, I thought it was a kind of a clever idea. And so I, I stopped what I was doing and I went ahead and tried to make some. Um, that's what I do. I just, when something hits me, I just stop and um, I do want to try to make it. So I just want to show you these real quick. It's just a real, sh gonna be a short video. I'm gonna use this altered book um, that I made. It's a Reader's Digest. Um, I haven't completed it yet. I made this quite a while ago. Um, I don't know if you see these anymore where it's an altered book and then you get scrapbook paper, coffee dyed paper, and you put it right over the text. Um, I have several of these. I just either need to fill them or leave them as is with just a few little things on it. But anyway, um, I also made some pockets um, too. This is two pockets here. Anyway, um, that's not what I want to show you. <laughs> I just want to show you the... Um, the snippets and what they are is they're on a piece of um, scrapbook paper so it's folded of course and then you add your uh, snippet pieces onto it okay and then it just goes over the edge of a page okay so when you flip it you have a clean and more support for the snippet and it depends on how bulky you make that because when it's closed, um, this one's not too bad and there's not too much hanging over, but you can always move that in if you don't like it hanging over too much because down here it's almost flush, but it does cause a little bit of bulk. This one's not so bad. The next ones I show you, they're much more bulky, um, but I think this one looks pretty good. Um, and it has enough on it. Kind of like it that way too. You can also put it on this side of the page. Let me close this way. Okay. Here's another one that I did. You can go this way and go on the edge of the page. This one I think is going to be a little bulkier. Yeah. So, and this is the edge of it. So that's this one. Then I did this one. It's using Tim Holtz paper again. This one's going to be a little bit bulky because I have a heavy crochet um, piece on there. But that's what it'll look like on the book. And then when you close it, it'll look like this. And that's a little bulky. Again, if you put just maybe a couple in, it won't be so bad. Um, or if you can allow for it when you do the signatures. And then I did this one just on fabric. And I'm sure you all have done it. And it can be just a belly band. Um, and I kind of like the top hanging over and the bottom. But these were fun to make. Um, and so I wanted to share them with you. Um, and like I said, they're just great for little scraps and things. You can even use fabric. It doesn't really have to be the doilies and lace and uh, other bits. If you use fabric, it might even, um, you know, not be so bulky when you put it in. Because once you start putting um, several of these in, um, it can get, it can cause a lot of bulk um, in your journal. I like the way it looks though, but that's what it's going to look like. And by the time I fill this, it may not be so bad, um, but I kind of like that um, hanging over the edge like that. So I just need to decorate this cover. I need to fill a little bit of the inside. Um, this might be a naked journal, um, but I wanted to sh basically share these snippets with you. So short video. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.